Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I would like to talk about coffee again. What is the good time to drink coffee? You're asking what's the difference when to drink coffee? Well, stay around to find out. But before we continue, I would like to ask you a huge favor. Can you please subscribe, hit that like button, notification button, so you won't miss any other videos. Also, I would like to remind this video and many others coming under umbrella. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving any medical advice. Doctor diagnose the problem, give medication to treat the problem. I'm trying to establish channel that will help you with the lifestyle choices and make sure that we won't visit doctors as often. Anyhow, let's continue with coffee. So why is so important to drink coffee in a particular time or not to drink coffee in certain times? Let's start first thing in the morning. So we wake up, many people reach straight for the coffee. Why not drink coffee first thing? The reason lies with how we waking up. To wake up, body start producing uh, more cortisol and cortisol is a hormone suppressing other hormone called melatonin and when melatonin is suppressed we're not sleepy and we waking up so that's the body's mechanism to wake us up so think of that that we're already waking up with huge amount of cortisol in the body and if you consume coffee the coffee is a stimulant it will trigger another um, wave of cortisol and will put more stress on you so the point being if you would like to start your morning stressed, uh, clouded, uh, a little bit agitated, I don't recommend drink coffee first thing in the morning before driving calm, before meeting or any important events. The second one is I do not recommend drinking coffee with your breakfast or immediately after your breakfast. Why is that? Again, coffee will trigger uh, production of uh, cortisol. Cortisol will result in uh, glucose in the bloodstream. So what happens when we've got glucose in the bloodstream? We've got um, insulin to trying to suppress that uh, glucose and we basically store that glucose as a fat layer and drinking coffee with breakfast will take everything that you eat in breakfast and amplify that storage mechanism so i'm not saying the coffee on its own will trigger much of it but in combination with breakfast especially when you're trying to uh, lose some kilos coffee does not help you um, in uh, your journey to lose weight so you would ask hey you know you're not telling you tell me not to drink here not to drink there when is the best time to drink it so let's say if you're waking up and you're still eating your breakfast, I would say wake up, have your routine, eat your breakfast and as you come into work half an hour later, maybe an hour later, drink your coffee. Unless you've got important meetings, I wouldn't do this, but um, otherwise it's a perfect time to drink coffee. It's a time where your stress level has gone down and maybe if you're eating your breakfast, um, amount of sugar um producing enough uh, tiredness to trigger melatonin so that cortisol that you will release with coffee consumption will again suppress melatonin and what we call wake us up let's say if you're not eating breakfast when is a good time to drink coffee i would say literally any time an hour after you wake up Coffee is a great drink if you drink it right. I create next video about how to drink coffee, what to put in a coffee, because not every coffee uh, created equally. Also important to remember that um, coffee has quite significant half-life. Um, what's a half-life? It's a medical term for substance when it half functional. So for example, if you take painkiller and if it's um, uh, working halfway or, or half strength it's a half life of painkiller so coffee uh, supposed to stimulate a nervous system and half life of coffee is six hours so I would say last coffee whether you believe your coffee 
uh, tolerant or intolerant or coffee does not have any influence on you coffee does you may not feel it uh, as a physical effect but it will suppress melatonin levels so last coffee if you drink I would suggest to drink 10 to 12 hours before going to sleep so for example if you're going to sleep at 10 p.m. not later than midday should be your last coffee and another uh, point I would like to make I'll attach in a thumbnail uh, picture from a um, sweetener that I bought uh, in local um, supermarket one of the uh, big two and I would like to point out many of us drink coffee and we try to strive for better and we add sweeteners to our coffee so um, before I start researching best sweeteners and all of that I knew that three sweeteners are really good for uh, any drink or any cooking if you don't add sugar if you're trying to avoid sugar which is stevia monk fruit and erythritol so one of the sweetest would be monk fruit but it's really hard to buy it in local shops the second sweetest would be stevia so i went to local supermarket and i got box uh, or, or jar of stevia and uh, i paid premium money because i believe stevia is sweeter than erythritol and i touch look at the thumbnail of my uh, youtube it's amazing that it says 100% uh, uh, stevia and then if you look at the ingredients the first um, first uh, biggest ingredient is organic erythritol my point being uh, don't spend your money in a local store that give you something that first of all is not true secondly if you if you really consuming already erythritol i'll put down um, in the description link below where you can get best organic erythritol at literally quarter of that price hope uh, i hope that you like this video and if you got any questions uh comment below and uh, i'll try to talk more about coffee and other lifestyle choices thank you so much for watching greg